What's up YouTube, my name is Aaron and today we're going to be talking about why you should be buying Black Ops 3 November the 6th and what the beta was all about. Like what did we get from the beta other than being able to experience multiplayer hands on you know months before it was even available and even fathomed in years before with Call of Duty. So should you buy Call of Duty? Yes, you should be buying Black Ops 3 if you're on next gen if you're not on next gen i mean if you're a cod fan you are going to buy it there's nothing anyone's going to say i could tell you that you could the game was not even call of duty they just repackaged mario and put it as call of duty i mean that'd be pretty cool to play mario on the 360 but it's definitely not what you were looking for and i don't think black ops 3 is going to be what you're looking for on the last generation consoles keep in mind we have not seen an ounce of gameplay from last generation consoles. You have no idea how bad it may look. It could just not even be rendered correctly. It could just be like a standard 4x3 game. You have no idea. Although, you know, they probably would not do that. That would hurt sales a lot. It's probably going to be very similar, but definitely there's not going to be as much to do. There's not going to be as many dynamic events and it's not going to be that fun on last generation consoles. But, you know, if you can't get a next gen and I know situations are like that, like not everyone can go and get a next generation uh, gaming console. Not everyone has a gaming PC. You know, you're pretty much stuck with what you have. And if you have to get it, I'm going to go ahead and say and get it. This game looks amazing. But, you know, if you're if you're in a situation where you can maybe save up just a little bit more. Maybe wait till Christmas. Maybe uh, just start doing odd jobs. Like you guys should have been starting this way back when, whenever I had this first video up. And you know, you should be somewhere close now. And you can probably get a really good Xbox One on eBay used for about $200. So it's a lot better than finding, uh, you know, the $500 console within GameStop. You can probably get it for about $200, $250. Maybe three, maybe three is where it uh, where it lies, but you know, give or take a hundred from two hundred. So, what did the beta do for us? And this is why I'm saying Black Ops 3 is going to be amazing. They took all of our information and they fixed it. First thing on the list, Black Hat equipment. If you played the beta, you know Black Hat was so overpowered. I literally, before like the big thing where the big rant, because I've been up in levels like I've kind of always been the highest level in every single lobby I went into so I kind of had those really cool score streaks you know I and I'm kind of good so I was like calling in motherships I think I had like five or six motherships a ton of those or not really a ton of those GI robots because they kind of suck but I definitely had a ton of haters that was the thing I called in the most out of the beta other than you know like a UAV or something simple but out of the big skill streaks those are what I called in and I was noticing it that people like there was like one person in every 10 lobbies that would ha just be running black hat and stealing everything I had and I hated that so what they did is while you're using black hat you are a red dot on the radar that's right people can see you on the radar if you're using black hat which I mean I don't really like that you know it's hacker you're supposed to be like stealthy and I guess they had to do something but I don't understand how they could have Black Hat, like in Black Ops 2, and it be, you know, it functions, it does what it's supposed to do, not that many people use it, but the ones who does are really stealthy and they can use it to their advantage sometimes. I don't see how they can't just say, Black Hat worked here, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And that's what they've kind of done. They, they've messed it up a little bit, but you are a red dot and you kind of get voiceover notifications so it's like um used to it was like your score streaks being hacked and like a second later it was it was gone and this time you're going to be able to see the red dot so hopefully maybe the red dot kind of pulses or something letting you know who's hacking so you can kind of just sift your way through the map and you can kill them directly or you know i'm not quite sure how that's going to work but you know, there's been a ton of stuff. Reject has already been touched on. Um, the only thing is um, score streaks. You know, it resets all score streaks and kills. So the biggest thing is the person that gets the kill from Reject 
actually keeps the kill on their leaderboard. You know, used to, you did not get the kill until that person decided to life reject back up or just go ahead and die, which kind of sucked if you were the person that got the kill and so on and so forth. And something that I knew that they were going to add is uh, they're going to add the red kill marker like they've had since Call of Duty Ghost. I honestly remember that update and I was like, whoa, what is this red thing? Like, do I have a. Uh, Oh my god, what is it called? Deadeye? I'm pretty sure the perk was called Deadeye. It's like, some bullets deal more damage. I was like, whoa, do I have Deadeye on? I didn't. And I was like, I've got permanent Deadeye. But it was actually just, you know, the kill marker. And I think that's really cool. I'm glad that they added that in. And it's just kind of reassuring. Because I don't know about you guys, but I always let go of the trigger before the kill's over. And now that I've had the red hit marker, I don't do that as much. You know, it's not... It's not easy to do. I mean, it's kind of easy to do if you count bullets in your head. I know that sounds strange. Like, I say I count bullets in my head. I, I'm not really going like, one, two, three, four. Okay. I just kind of, I have a feeling, you know, whenever I see a screen, I know how many bullets I let out. Like, I know what's in the air, and I should get the kill. Because, I mean, that's something that you pick up. Whether you played a year, or you've played five or six years, it's just something that you pick up. And, you know, adding this in is just extra assurance that you're going to get the kill and you have gotten the kill. Now, something that was huge is flashbang or flashbang concussion and grenades. Those were the most annoying things in the entire beta. And I think the big reason why is because there was just a ton of low levels and that was the only thing that they had unlocked. I don't think grenades are going to be that bad. You know, if you look through any other Call of Duty, grenades are always kind of overpowered. Um, I've never known a grenade that would land 10 feet away and not kill you unless you had flak jacket on. And I think the big reason why people complained about the grenade is that everyone used them. And this is on a system where you kind of have to use the grenade. You know, it's not really it just... Uh, maybe it's like a pick 10. Honestly, the game is over and I'm still having trouble trying to think about it. Yeah, it is pick 10. So they had the option, but the perks wasn't there. They weren't leveled up to use different perks. And it was pretty much just stuck with you had like one or two points open. And why not just use a grenade and concussion? But what they've done to the concussion and flashbang is decrease the time that you're stunned by one second. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but in COD terms, that is a lot. That's enough. That's the difference between you getting a kill and them killing you. So, that's pretty good. And also, the uh, counter, the tactical mask, is now unlocked at level 13. Also low level for all those low levels that are going to be using it. So, just to let you, let you know about that. Next is Safeguard. If you guys played Safeguard, you're a champ, and it's a very fun game type, but, you know, it was kind of dumb, and I think one thing that they've done to fix that is that for every three seconds that you're guiding that robot, you're getting plus 25 score, and that's going to add up over time, especially if you, uh, you run, like, their strategies that they released a couple of months ago. You would probably get at least a UAV by the time it gets to the other side, so you could spawn in on defense with a UA or offense with a UAV. Pretty cool, but and I guess our last thing, and it's kind of big, kind of not, is that they have balanced the Razorback and the M8A7. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I've tried to let you guys know everything I know by Black Ops 3. It's gonna be so good. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow. I upload daily. Peace.